So content in this online class is delivered via video lectures. And this is kind of an unusual, or I don't know, I don't know if it's unusual or what, but I think the unusual aspect of these videos is that they're literally the lecture you would receive from me if we were in a face-to-face -face classroom situation. The only difference is that you can't answer, ask questions in real time. I won't answer them in real time. But the videos are found on YouTube, although all of them are embedded in Canvas as well. If you ever get lost, you can go hunt things down in YouTube. And I just want to show you my YouTube channel so that you have a sense of how it's organized here. Um, you can search Wendy Riggs on YouTube and my stuff will come up. I actually, um, I don't teach human anatomy or physiology online, thank the Lord. However, I um, flip the classes. So I've got video lectures for every class I teach, and that is because students have to actually watch the videos before coming to class. Then during lecture time, we play games and do stuff. In this online class, I just am using my general biology video lectures exact same content you would receive in a face-to-face -face class. Um, the video lecture bit, you got to know, number one, the videos can be up to an hour or even a little over an hour long each. They're dense. They're, they're the content that I would be delivering in face-to-face -face class, drawing you pictures. I draw pictures on these things. Um, the, I show you pictures on these things. I ask you questions on these things. Um, they're also me, and you probably get an idea just from this, like, intro video that I can be sort of, like, weird, and I go off on weird tangents, and I come up with weird analogies, whatever. Like, that's just me, and so you get me delivering this information to you. Some people are like, ah, no, I don't want to see that lady talking at me anymore. And I want to assure you that if you read the textbook assignment, instead, look, you can read the textbook. On this calendar, there is a reading assignment associated with the OpenStax Concepts of Bio textbook that's free and open. You can read that and not have to watch the video lectures. Um, that said, I would argue that watching the videos is going to be a lot um, faster than reading the textbook, probably in most cases. Um, it's also going to help you target the things that I'm specifically going to be talking to you about. And I actually am going to try and show you, let's see, maybe I will go into the old online bio course. and Because what I want to show you really fast is um, I want to show you what the video lectures look like in Canvas so that you can see, where did I go? Video, biodiversity. I've actually embedded, ah, uh, what? No. Okay, whatever. I was trying to, to work it out. Maybe I'll leave student view because I know I got access. I got access to everything. It's an all access pass. Go, go, get me out of here. Now, look at all these things I have access to. This video lecture, and look at all these things that are not public. Oh, yeah. Okay, so anyway, all the video, like most of them, like yikes, this is terrifying. But um, you'll get a page like this in Canvas. The video is embedded in here. If you pull open this side menu, you can see all the parts of the video. And so you can scan around to the ones that are relevant to you. You can also, on every single one, there is a set of lecture notes, a page of helpful resources, and a page of study questions. I often am asked, dude, I need a study guide. Yeah, there it is. So you do have a study guide for um, every lecture. The other thing that's cool about the Canvas version of this is that there's a discussion board below it, and you can't see it because my page is too small. Look, Boop. you can actually reply to the video and ask questions. So if you're watching this thing and you're like, ah, big picture, what is the histone protein, huh? You can 
ask a question like, dude, Riggs, you mentioned histone proteins, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Help. And then someone, either a classmate or me, will come in and reply to you and hopefully um, clarify some things. So I prefer you to watch in Canvas because we can um, facilitate conversation a little easier in Canvas. But, I mean, who knows who you're going to find on YouTube to talk to about uh, the video. So I guess you can go there, too. All right, I just want to make sure that you understand that the content is delivered via video and that um, textbook, reading the textbook and understanding the textbook is a totally fantastic um, alternative. All right, be right back.